Breedy X Tech has been producing ESD and carbon fiber filaments since around 2014 and have established themselves as one of the go to brands for this type of filament and other specialist materials. That's why this week we're going to take a look at some of those materials, see how they print and their possible uses. The first filament we're looking at this week is 3D Extat ESD PLA. Even though it is a standard PLA, you wouldn't be printed normal items with it, especially when you compare the price of standard PLA. So, I buy it. Well, the good thing about these material is it has an anti electrostatic discharge properties, or ESD. This means it can be safe to use in electronics as it's completely non conductive. First thing we printed with it was this Raspberry Pi case on our 3D Gents 1. We found it really easy to print with, had low shrinkage, had hardly any odour, which is great for printing in public spaces like offices, and had consistent and reliable surface resistance. It was made using cutting edge, multi wall, carbon nanotube technology in a clean room, which means it has low particulate contamination. It also had improved retention of impact compared to other ESD safe materials, which means it dents far less and bounces back to its original shape. Even though you can print up to 240 degrees of this material, it's recommended you print between 210 and 220 degrees. This is because it has a higher melt viscosity compared to standard PLA, so sometimes it's better to print at a higher temperature than your regular PLA. Perfect for printing without a heated print bed, but if you do have one, you can print between 23 and 60 degrees. This is the demo we made. It's a Raspberry Pi 2B case. The bottom comes off just like that, has no screws to assemble it, and it's even got space for a fan. It's perfect for electronics like this, as it's completely non-conductive material. To finish off, we think it's a great, cost-effective DSD material for non-weight bearing parts. However, if you are looking for a stronger material, have a look at PETG or ABS. It is 3DX Tech Week this week, so we're putting out a video every day of the week highlighting a different material. If you'd like to buy this product, the link is in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Twitter.